How to make a construction contract agreement. If you're about to start a construction project, whether you're a homeowner, a contractor, or a project manager, you need to know how to create a solid construction contract agreement. This document is crucial for ensuring everything goes smoothly and that all parties are protected. First, let's start with the basics. A construction contract needs to include the full names, addresses, and signatures of both parties involved. This might seem obvious, but it's essential for making the contract legally binding. Without these details, the contract won't hold up in court if there are any disputes. Next, you need to clearly define the scope of work. This section should detail exactly what services will be provided, including descriptions of materials, quality, grade, and any other specifications relevant to the project. For example, if you're renovating a house, the scope of work should outline what rooms will be renovated, what materials will be used, and the expected quality of the work. The project cost and payment terms are also critical. This part of the contract should clearly state the total cost of the project, any additional fees, and the schedule of payments. It's important to specify how payments will be made, such as through monthly installments, and what methods of payment are acceptable, like cashier's checks or credit cards. A clear schedule of work is another vital element. This includes setting a notice to proceed date, a construction start date, and a completion date. Make sure to differentiate between calendar days and work days and account for potential delays due to weather or other factors. It's also wise to include clauses that protect you from delays caused by the property owner or other external factors. Authority is another key aspect. With many people involved in a construction project, it's important to specify who has the authority to make legally binding decisions. This can save a lot of confusion and headaches down the line. Materials and their specifications should be outlined in the contract as well. If there are specific materials that the homeowner or builder insists on using, these need to be detailed in the contract to avoid any misunderstandings. Timeframes and deadlines are crucial. The contract should specify the expected completion date and account for any potential delays. Penalties for late completion or other breaches of the contract should also be included to protect both parties. Change orders are another important consideration these are procedures for handling changes to the original scope of work. The contract should outline how changes will be requested, approved, and implemented, as well as any additional costs or time required. Payment provisions are a significant part of the contract. These can include pay when paid or pay if paid clauses, which specify when the contractor is obligated to pay the subcontractor based on payments received from the owner. Indemnification clauses are also important. These allow one party to seek reimbursement for costs incurred due to the actions of another party. For example, if a subcontractor's negligence causes an injury, an indemnification clause can help the contractor seek reimbursement from the subcontractor. Finally, a dispute resolution process should be included. This could involve arbitration or mediation to resolve any disagreements without going to court. In summary, creating a construction contract agreement involves detailing the scope of work, project cost and payment terms, schedule of work, authority, materials, timeframes, penalties, change orders, payment provisions, indemnification, and dispute resolution. By including these elements, you can ensure that your construction project is well planned and protected from potential issues. Always have a lawyer review your contract to make sure it's clear, fair and protects your interests.